What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. I wanted to talk about this because I recently talked about Courtney and Kim and the fact that Kim is indeed envious and jealous of Courtney. And I don't care if she's a billionaire. I don't care if she gets more exposure and and she seems to be happy in all of the pictures and videos and campaigns and everything that she does. It doesn't mean that she can't be jealous of someone else, right? But I wanted to talk about this. They had this clip that's gone viral from Kim and Courtney. They had a show a spinoff on the E! Network years ago. And I don't know how many seasons it had. But anyway, I wanted to play this clip. This is from TikTok. And this scene from Kim and Courtney is Kim's assistant going off on Courtney while Kim just sits there and watches. I'm going to put a link to it in the description box so that you can look at it. But of course, I'm just going to play the audio. I've always bickered. Right now, it's getting a little more extreme. You are shoved so far up Kim's oh like a dive. Oh, my God. Yeah, at least my job is not collecting Kim's money as it falls out of her. Kim is like... Well, without Kim, you'd be nothing. All you'd be doing is chasing Scott at nightclubs every night. I don't know who told you that you're the queen of this castle, that you don't need to work, because you do. She's been working, I know, since I'm up her all day, has been working 365 days for the last four years while you've been pregnant and doing nothing. Why the f*** am I even listening to you? I don't Why know. are you talking? I don't know. You're delusional, you're a psycho, and you're a f- bitch. Why don't oh, you sweet. leave? Don't you have your own place? I don't know Scott's never going to marry you. Courtney is truly a little crazy. I can't believe she hit Jonathan. I think she's pushed to her limit. All right, guys. So I hope you heard that. But basically, Kim's assistant Jonathan is going off on Courtney while Kim is sitting there acting like she's so shocked. But there are moments where she has a smile and a smirk on her face. And... What I picked up from that is everything that he was saying was everything that Kim was feeling as well as saying to him when Courtney's not around. Because what assistant, even if this assistant calls himself a friend to Kim, would feel that comfortable saying all of those things to Kim's sister? He felt like he had the ability to say it because it's something that Kim has had been saying repeatedly over and over again. So when Courtney said to him, you know, you're so shoved, you're shoved so far up Kim's A. And he blurted all of that stuff out, talking about her chasing Scott around at nightclubs all the time and you're always pregnant. Like that is not something that a typical assistant or friend of Kim's would say to Kim's sister, especially knowing how close they allegedly were. So in my personal opinion, what I picked up from that is that, yeah, this is stuff that Kim was saying. She was more shocked when Courtney slapped him because, yeah, when you watch the clip, again, I have the link in the description box. When you watch the clip after he said all of that, Courtney went over there, hauled off, and slapped him in the face. <laughs> and he got up and he was walking out. She was more shocked, Kim. She was more shocked when Courtney slapped him than when he was saying all of those things. She was given the side eye when he was saying those things. She tried to act as if she was about to 
interject and say something like, okay, Scott, that's enough, or let knock it off, or don't go there. You know what I mean? She was acting, okay? Because we know that even though she's not an actress, even though now she's doing parts in like American Horror Story, she was even in one of Tyler Perry's films years ago, which was horrible. But anyway, <laughs> you don't know how, you don't have to know how to act to be in one of Tyler Perry's things. But anyway, she acted as if she was about to interject and speak up or shut Scott down, but she was enjoying it. She was enjoying it. So she was more shocked when Courtney slapped him than when he was saying all of those things to Courtney. And I could tell then, like he was saying, you know, you just want to have babies and all of this other stuff. It was clear then that she never really wanted this life. She was doing the family business. And then this show became a part of the family business because they had the stores, right? They had the boutiques, the clothing out clothing stores. So that was more of their family business. And then the show became the family business. And all of the other things that they've been doing became the family business. So him calling her an F and B and telling her, no wonder Scott's going to marry you. Like, those are things that Kim was saying to him. Those are not things that he just thought of himself. And that's why Kim was sitting there silent, enjoying it, but acting as if she was about to shut it down when she wasn't. Because even when Courtney slapped him, she was shocked that Courtney did that, but she was still reveling in the fact that Jonathan said a lot of the things that she had been thinking and also saying to him that she wanted Courtney to hear that back then she didn't have the balls to say. And now we come back to present time where she is speaking to Courtney about Courtney and Courtney is letting Kim know, look, you're a witch. I effing hate you. And you're a narc and you just care about yourself it, in present time, you know, because Kim was like, well, your friends come to me and talk to me about you. Your children come to me and talk to me about you. We have a a chat that you're not included called Not Courtney, where we talk about you trying to make it seem like everyone else is coming to her about Courtney when indeed she is the one that is talking about Courtney. So I love that someone dug this up. Again, I have a link to this in the description box. You guys watch it. Let me know your thoughts. Please watch the facial expressions. And speaking of faces, isn't it amazing how Courtney's face has changed <laughs> over the years? <laughs> oh my God, she looks like a completely different person. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section about all of this. Thank you guys so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.